In this video, we'll be going over how to spread a beetle. The materials you'll need are a beetle, some pins, tweezers, pieces of cardboard, vellum paper, or you can also use parchment paper, a spreading board, and some boiling water. For this demonstration, we'll be using the reverse side of our butterfly spreading board. Alrighty, let's get started. After you've unwrapped your beetle, you can put some boiling water in a heatproof container and then put your beetle in the water. Here I'm using my tweezers to submerge the beetle completely in the boiling water. After about a minute or so, you'll want to remove your beetle from the boiling water and test it gently by seeing if the joints move easily and are flexible. If the joints and legs for the beetle are still a bit stiff, you'll want to return it to the boiling water in increments of about 1-2 to two minutes. For this particular beetle, I did have to submerge it for a total of about 5 minutes. Set your beetle down on a napkin or a paper towel and then we'll work on spreading the elytra. Place one finger on the thorax to stabilize the beetle and then using tweezers or your fingers you can gently but firmly spread the elytra. I've left the volume on this portion of the video so sorry about the background noise but once I get the elytra spread you'll hear a bit of a cracking noise which is normal. Got it. Now we'll move over to our spreading board. Remove your beetle from your paper towel and set him on the spreading board. Using your spade tip tweezers, gently pull the under wings apart to expose the middle part of the body. What we're going to be doing here is placing a pin in the middle of the body through to the spreading board to stabilize the beetle on the board. You'll want to take extra care to make sure that the pin does not go through the underwings. Then we'll put pins on both sides of the head to stabilize the beetle. Using your spade tip tweezers and your fingers, we'll now unfold the underwings. Now we'll position the wings using the pieces of cardboard. We actually reused an old shipping box. We'll place the wing above the cardboard to get it to be about the same level as the body. For this particular demonstration, we're using two pieces of cardboard under each wing. This will help it dry nice and level. Once the cardboard is in the position that we want it, we'll grab some of our pins and stick it through the cardboard to stabilize it on the board.
Now that the cardboard is stabilized and in the position that we want, we'll pull up the underwings to the desired position and stabilize those with some parchment or vellum paper. I did have to recut my vellum paper to bigger rectangular pieces because the smaller strips did not hold the wings up sufficiently. After you have the paper positioned over the wings, you'll want to take your pins and pin the paper in place. I did pin fairly close to the wing to help hold it up since for this beetle the wings did have a tendency to sag. Repeat pinning the wing on the other side. We'll now work on positioning the legs. For this step I did use ribbed tweezers because I find them a little bit easier but you can use spade tip tweezers as well. I just find that they slip a little bit. When you put your pins in, you wanna make sure they go in a crisscross motion, fairly tight against the leg to prevent any movement. You'll want to check and reposition your front legs if needed. Once you're happy with the positioning of your beetle on the spreading board, you'll want to let it dry for two to six weeks, depending on your location and the humidity. For this particular beetle, I let it dry for two weeks in relatively low humidity. Your beetle should also lighten up in color once it's completely dry.